I got to be a substitute teacher one time, believe it or not. Because you only need two things to be a sub. Number one, you have to have a college degree. And I realize that from where you're sitting, that seems highly unlikely. Uh, secondly, you have to have not been convic convicted of a felony. Keyword convicted. There you go. Ladies and gentlemen, and now, up next, from Arizona, he's 16 years old and a junior in high school, and he gets hit in the head a lot. Please welcome Austin Hill, everyone. Hello. Um, so if I've learned anything from the whole comedy experience and coming out to do the show and everything, it's to not let your mom write your jokes. <laughs> so I'm sitting there, I have this joke all lined up, it's looking great. And it was, a, it was about Morningwood. <laughs> not a great subject to be talking about with mom. But uh, she did her whole mom thing and kind of edited it a bit. And uh, instead of being Morningwood, it came out, Austin's Happy Morning Visitor. I'm like, Mom, I'm like 16, that's not okay with me. But uh, but the, one of the other reasons why I'm, I'm up here in uh, Seattle is because of the, the MRP, the Metapause Relocation Program. <laughs> I actually uh, found out that my mom was a cougar. <laughs> Not a great thing to learn at my age. <laughs> or any age. So we, we had gotten into a rollover car accident a while back and um, we were at the hospital and the doctor's asking my mom, she's like, so what happened? What do you remember? And she's sitting there looking up into the bright light. She's like, I remember I remember six very good-looking firemen pulling me from the wreckage. The doctor looks at me and he'll, he's like, she'll just be fine. And by the time we had left the hospital, she had left with 11 phone numbers. She didn't even ask if I was okay. But uh, when I was younger, I lived up in Canada. But uh... I had a cat named Smudge, and um, one, one winter I decided that uh, maybe I should take him sledding. <laughs> Not my best judgment. So we're sitting there at the top of the hill. He's in my lap. I'm ready to go. Start tilting down the hill, going 4.5 miles an hour. <laughs> and by the end of that hill, I had learned a very valuable lesson. 34 layers of clothing is not enough to keep your cat from destroying your crotch. But now that I'm older, and I'm, but now that I'm older and I'm, uh, I'm driving a bit more, and uh. Now that it's legal, um, I did some. Uh, I did the, my first little trip through the bank and did the drive-through ATM. And I'm sitting there, cashing my checks, and I'm like, "All right." Look to my left. There's Braille. <laughs> so I'm sitting there, and I look over to my mom, and I'm like. I think we need to translate this somehow. So I took a rubbing of it, I actually, I actually did. And um, I went to the library, never been there before. And uh, I went through the library, got to the book section. I was like, what are these? And uh, after I had finished actually translating it, I started to read it and it was, you were blind and driving a car. <laughs> Lack of funds is the least of our worries. <laughs> but uh, I, have, I have a job. 
they're my, uh, I work in my school cafeteria handing out chicken nuggets. It's a great way to meet the ladies. The lunch ladies are hot. I likes me my hair nets. Thank you, that's my uh, section of uh, years old. Can you believe that? You know what I was doing when I was 16? Living under my house. That's what I was doing.